There are many times where you'll be working on a scene that's fairly complex and has a lot of elements associated with it. It also has several cameras that are set up to give us multiple views of our scene. And let's go one step further and say that one of our cameras is a sequence that happens in the daytime, and the other one of our cameras is shooting a sequence that happens at nighttime. Now we could create two different scenes, one that is a daytime scene and one that is a nighttime scene. But that would give us two scenes to take care of and update as opposed to just one. And if you're in the middle of updating the scene and you have to make sure that a second scene is updated at the same time, an easy way to do this is set up scene states. That allows you to create one state for daytime and one state for nighttime. This is where the batch rendering comes in very handy. We mentioned earlier that there were two cameras that we will want to render separate sequences for. What batch rendering allows us to do is to create a render queue. In this render queue, we can add as many cameras as we want to add. In this case, we can add the two cameras into the render queue, and when we execute the batch render command, it will render the first camera, then the second camera, and output those files down to the hard drive. Another powerful feature of the batch render that we'll look at in this chapter is the ability to assign a unique scene state to each entry in the render queue. This is going to allow us to set one camera to render a daytime scene and the second camera to render a nighttime scene. This can come in very handy because you only have to have one version of your file and you don't have to worry about maintaining two separate files.